So going to take a, a quick look here at this Divergent Diamond Interchange. I'm on westbound Highway 73, also known as Davidson Highway in Concord. And we're about to go over Interstate 85. This is my first look. And meanwhile, it is, and I've already seen one vehicle confused, if you will, by the new section as they try to make a left turn onto International Drive. So you got several lanes here, and you can kind of see the traffic signs put up here. One lane. Actually, we got three lanes here, and this is the first stoplight. One lane, of course, goes off to the right there. If you want to hit on northbound 85 over towards the Salisbury area. So we'll see how everybody handles this on a beautiful Monday afternoon. I'm gonna sun is really bright, so I am taking this down a couple of notches for you. There we go. On my camera. As we're waiting out the stoplight here, of course, this is part of the uh, expansion project that's been going on for a pretty good while for Interstate 85. The actual winding was completed, I guess it's been a little over a couple months ago now. All right, so here we go. Light has turned green behind the Kia here and uh, was not expecting three lanes. So I'm thinking the two lanes go on to Interstate 85 southbound and Actually, 85 southbound gets the left lane, 73 westbound gets the center lane, and Trinity Church Road towards the northwest Cabarrus direction gets the right lane. So we got the green light coming back the other way. So let's see how these two lanes kind of come back together as we get back on the other side of Interstate 85. Going past the Circle K. And so you can see there's still a lot of orange barrels, still a lot of road work being done. So this project isn't 100% complete, but it gives you a little bit of an idea for how it's being done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make the U-turn here. This U-turn was actually in place when whole sections of it, of Highway 73, you could not make left turns for a while. Here we go, back the eastbound direction on Highway 73, away from the sun, so you might actually be able to see this just a little bit better, but you see the flashing NCDOT signs with new project configuration, if you will. All right, so back the other way, so there's 85 southbound back towards Charlotte. And it looks like we're gonna get, we only have two lanes to deal with. No correction, it's, it's three lanes again three lanes so you can kind of see and I'm going to give a little scan here around the area of my car but you can get a little bit of an idea of how things are motoring along so again eastbound highway 73 as I make my way back towards Concord so let's see how this plays out all right, green light. So this is where, and I haven't seen anybody go the wrong direction, so that's a good thing. This is, there was a lot of confusion when the Poplar Tent Road Divergent Diamond Interchange also opened up. So if it's the same as the other direction, yeah, so left lane, 85 northbound, center lane stays on Highway 73, and the right lane will take you to the turn lane onto International Drive. And of course, merging with traffic there, coming off of 85 Northbound, looks like it's actually shut down for the moment. So we might have another lane in the near future. Again, even on this side, you have a lot of orange barrels, a lot of construction work. Eventually, this will be a four lane kind of super highway on uh, extending past International Drive on the east side and past Trinity Church Road on the west side. John Von Cannon reporting